top song. I've written out my notes. I'll upload them. I'll do a playthrough also. This is the version from um, Billy Gibbons playing at Daryl's house. Um, I really enjoy this version. You can see a lot of what he's doing. Um, I did watch some live videos and we'll talk about some chord inversions that I've seen other lessons use that aren't wrong but from watching him play this live in the old days, we'll talk about why he plays it in a certain position. So with that said, let's get to the beginning. The song has a lot of double stops in it, so um, what we're gonna do to start the song off is hit our fifth string open twice, and then on the fifth fret, on the uh, fourth and third string going up to um, from five to seven back to five. So we'll be referencing the C to D back to C. And we're going to hit our open A twice again and then an open uh, G, third and fourth string, twice to two. And then we go back to that first thing. And then he comes in with a little lick. So we have this um, for the intro. One, two, three, four. All right, for the lick, um, at least what he does in Daryl's version, we're going to take seventh fret of the third and second string. We're going to bend that up, strike it two more times, and release. Then we're going to hit it and pull off to five, okay? So we'll have this, so five. Then we hit seven again, both strings, and then we start the uh, lick. So let me play that again for you slowly. One, two, three, four. So what we do for the lick from there, um, again, I'll do a play along so you can see how this goes with the song, but again, this is how Billy did it at Daryl's house. Um, so the lick uh, that continues on from there is going to be playing the open fifth string, two strikes, to the octave note in A on the seventh fret of the fourth string. <laughs> Now you want to mute that fifth string. All right, so we'll do that a total of six times. All right. Then what we do, next lick will be like this. All right, so what we're doing, um, we're going to slide from the sixth string first fret F to F sharp to the second fret. We'll catch the octave there on the fourth fret. Then we'll move that up to uh, G with the octave and G sharp. And then we stop there. So we have this slowly. One, two, three, four. So after that little octave lick, they go into really the chorus, all right? Um, so you got a chorus uh, twice through before they actually come into a verse. So for the chorus part, what we're going to do is hit the open fifth string twice to five to seven, double stop, just like we did on the fourth and third string. Do that again. Now this next one's a little bit different because of the timing. We're going to hit the fifth once and then come into the seventh and the fourth and third string. And then we go to this. Seven on the fifth string, 
fifth fret of the fourth string, and then to a D uh, power chords. So we're going to the fifth fret of the fifth string to seventh fret of the um, fourth string. All right, so let me take that. Now this is three quarters of it. There's one more, just like the intro of it, um, as a tag, I'll call it. But let's just go through this first three quarters of it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The reason you see me playing it this way is I watched Billy do this in the early days. There's some real early videos of him doing it, and he doesn't move from this fifth position. So what I believe he's doing, this is seventh. All right, we're just playing part of the chord. We're taking the fifth string and the fourth string, and then rather going to a D7 here which is fine he probably does that in the studio recording but again at Daryl's house and some of the older live versions I just see him here sitting here at the fifth position so what we would be doing here is playing a D7 so this is why I'm saying I think he does this rather than Either one is correct. Doesn't matter. Whatever you're comfortable with. Both sound great. Matter of fact, I think when he ends the song at on this video, he does go to the D seventh here. All right. Great chords. Learn them if you want to play blues. Um, and this is the theory behind what I believe Billy's playing. Of course, I didn't speak to, uh, there's a tag there. Um, and when I say tag, when we go from the uh, A7 to D7, we're going to do one more C to D. That completes one whole measure of the chorus. So let me show you the full measure of the chorus. All right, then we'd start over again. So that would be two measures of the chorus. You can see how that little five seven at the end throws you off a little bit because we're doing that uh, A7 to D7 and, and it changes it. You think that's the end of this uh, measure, but it's not. I'll play the verse for you. It's uh, not too difficult. Um, one, two, three, four. It's basically the C to D with that A chug on the um, fifth string open twice to 5-7. We'll do that a total of six times. All right, I'm not going to do all six, but after the sixth time, he goes into basically the Hendrix chord. So we're going to hit the open E. And then we're going to go to an E, a 7th sharp ninth, And hit that twice. Now if you're not familiar with that chord, we'll be on the 7th fret of the 5th string, 6th fret of the 4th, 7th fret of the 3rd, and ninth, I'm sorry, 8th fret of the 2nd. At that point, you'll hear the bass guitar coming in with that octave lick. And then they're back into what's the chorus. Okay, here's the lead at speed, and then I'll slow it down and show you what we're doing. On a 
honestly not very difficult it's just how you execute it just like the rhythm of this song very laid back all right so to start out with we're going to be on the third string seventh fret with a bend release and pull off to five and then striking seven on the fourth string then we'll go to the fifth fret of the fourth string three hits back to the seventh fret and then the third string at five back to seven on four all right we're going to do that two more times now here's where it gets a little interesting billy takes the fourth string from the fifth fret hammers into six and catches the third I'm sorry, the fifth string at seven. All right, so right there we're at an E note. We're gonna catch the E note on the second string. All right. So second string to five. If you hit the first string, that's fine too. Then he takes the five and adds the seven on the third string with a bend and a release. And then another bend and hits it two more times. All right, so we have this. And that's really the lick. Um, not difficult, it's how you play it. So listen to how he does it. I'll do a playthrough so you can see how it is. And we'll go through the ending, which I find really interesting because it's, I, I feel hard to pull out of the original. But when you hear it, wow, you, you really like, wow, that's what fits together. All right, here's the ending lick, and uh, we'll do a playthrough. And again, I've uploaded my notes so you can see how this all fits together. <laughs> So the ending lick, which they repeat, I believe it's 12 times, but um, listen to the song and again watch the playthrough. So we're hitting the 5th uh, string open twice, then we hit the 6th string at the 3rd fret, back to the 5th string open, to the 3rd fret of the 5th string, back to open. And it's semi... Uh, palm muted. Then he's playing a G to D. G twice, D twice. And I noticed what he's doing is just playing those middle two um, strings, a fourth and third, and then going to a D. So the way Billy ends this, you'll hear him hit the uh, muted uh, fifth string open twice to that um, octave on the seventh fret of the fourth string does that twice and then just the a seventh and then do this form of the d7 just playing the fifth string at five and fourth string One little, little, little lick at the end, you'll hear the guy go. So it's a 12. So slide into 12 on the third and second string, and then we're going to 11 and 10. And um, what is it, 9 and 8. So there you go. I didn't even write that very last little lick out, but uh, hope you guys enjoy. A lot of fun to play.